In this video, I'm going to show you how to make Belgium jump up. Now, this has been a highly requested video. So if you could just take a moment to give this video a like, it would be much appreciated. And if you're not already, please subscribe. Let's start with the drums. First, you want to set your BPM. So I've set my BPM at 174. So we're going to start with the first four bars and then you can duplicate it for the rest of the 16 bars and add small variations. Let's start with the kick drum. So we want to put one at the start of each bar like this. And it's really simple. We'll move to step mode, drag all the kicks, and then to get a traditional drum pattern, you put them on the third beat and then move them halfway across like that. But in this track in particular, I'm moving it a little bit more and getting this different style of drum rhythm as it works best with my Belgium style track here. Now you can feel free to experiment with this, see what sounds best with your track. Next is the snare. So this is really simple. We're going on the second and the fourth beat every single time. And you might be wondering, isn't that gonna clash? You'll see later why it doesn't. Really simple. And then what I've also done is layered it with another snare. So at the moment it sounds like this. And then with this one, it sounds like this. And then this has just been duplicated across as well. And now we've got a hi-hat loop, which is kind of like a ride. So it sounds like this. And it's just three rides in a row and then a break when the kick and the clap all play. And we just duplicate this all the way across. So, so far your track should sound like this. And now I've added another layer with the hi-hat on the start of each bar, just to give the kick drum some more transient, like this. And there we have the drums complete. It's that simple. And then we've just duplicated them across and we've also added this reverse crash here. So it sounds like this. But we'll come into that a bit later on. It gives some more emphasis between the transitions. In terms of the post processing on the drums, there's actually very little. I've got a Blood Overdrive, which is just a distortion type plugin on FL Studio that's making the kick sound a little bit more aggressive. And then, other than that, we've just got some EQ and not a lot of anything else. It's mainly just game staging and then setting the levels and making sure the kick and the clap are in mono. And then on the drum bus, we've just got some saturation on the basic setting and then a pro L so we can adjust the levels accordingly to go with the bass and the rest of the mix down. Now let's look at the bass. So let me play it for you. There's two main basses in this track. There's the initial one on the first beat and then that crazy Belgium jump up style on the second and third and fourth. And then we've got our fat sub below. So let's just break this down. So this is the first sound. So let me show you how this is made in Serum. And if you want loads of cool sounds like this, they're all available on my website. There's a link in the description. So we've got oscillator A here, and this is a basic shapes. However, the shape has been altered slightly, as you can see along here, with bin one all the way to bin 24 edited, and bin one here, and bin 36 here edited. So you can just click this little edit button here and then draw these on and do that until you get a shape like this. And then what you can do with the wavetable position is drag it all the way across and you get something that looks like this. And then we've also got the sub turned on with direct out turned on. But if you're already using a sub below, you don't necessarily need this on. So we can just leave that off. And then what we've got is this envelope shaped like this. You can see the parameters here. And then we've got this LFO one on the level, 100%. So you just drag this on here, 100%. And the envelope is one quarter, and it's just, we've just created a shape like this. And then LFO two is just a envelope as well on a quarter, going from zero to 100. And this is on the bend. So this is dragged on and then pulled backwards. And this is about 60 to 70%, somewhere around this range. And then we've got a filter on as well on band 24, which is down here. And then that's just on the cutoff. And then we've changed these around and put it through A, as you can see. And then we've also got tube distortion, a phaser, a compressor, a little bit of reverb, and then an EQ. And then this is on the EQ as well. Now let's have a look at this Belgium style heavy sound. So this first sound here 
is just the patch itself. And then this, this is like a percussion hit that we've exported and then layered on top just to give it a bit more depth. So this is a collab with Azzy and it should be coming out in the next couple of months. So he made this sound. So this sound was what he has done. So I'll try and talk you through it as much as I can. And then if you've got any comments, just put them down below and we'll both try and answer them as best as we can. So it would originally look like this. And then once it's pulled all the way across, it looks like this. So you can decide which one is easier to draw. And then we've got envelope two looking like this. Envelope one with four different parameters on it on quarter. It's on the level again, the cutoff here, the res. I think most of the sound comes from this res here. If I turn this off, you see it's gone. And this is on MG low 12, which is just that one there. We've got this comb filter here with the cutoff on 31. And then we've got a sign shaper distortion. And then we've got the compressor, which is on multiband this time. And then an EQ just cutting out any other lows. And then this LFO one is on the compressor here. And then they can ignore that LFO three there. And then this envelope two is on the EQ there. Now this sound doesn't actually have a pitch. It just plays, I think it's F sharp. So if you want it to play other notes, what I recommend you do is you create this and then you create one note with it and then process it, do whatever you want to it, export it bring it back into your door as a WAV, and then you can change the note with the pitch changer. So that's a, just a workaround around that. Now, of course, we've got a sub underneath. Now, if you want to learn how to make the sub, I'll leave a video here right now so you can watch it. And that'll tell you exactly how to make this amazing sub that sounds so fat. Now, post-processing. We actually don't have much post-processing going on. I've just got some OTT on the first bass. That's the first one. This is the second one. And then I've just got my side chain which is kickstart two. And then the other bases don't have any processing on them. They're just straight from the serum patch. And then we've exported this one here, like I told you just now, changed the pitch and it's gone to this level now. And there you have it. So the sub bass just follows the notes. So it's D, then it goes to F sharp and it sounds really fat. That is the drop done. If you're enjoying the video so far, please just quickly go down and click that like button. It'll help this video reach more producers like you, and then you'll be able to listen to more amazing music in the future. And also, if you want to learn how to make music just like this consistently every week, I've got a free music production workshop down below. You can just click on the link, sign up, watch it completely free. Now let's look at the intro, the breakdown, and the build up. So we started the intro with a re-space and it's just playing one note and it's following the main note in the drop, which was an F sharp. And then I've just got it doing that for 16 bars until the breakdown comes in where I've created this melody. And also there's a lot of automation going on as well. So it sounds really thin here, but then when the breakdown comes in, all the EQ comes off and it sounds a lot fatter than it did just then. And then here we turn it into a riser. So this has been turned into a riser. It goes gradually more and more up in pitch whilst the low end slowly filters off. And then we get like this multiple riser. I've done that with all the sounds here, as you can see. And you can see all the pitch channels here as well. So next, let me just show you the layering. So we've layered it with another pad here. So this is a pad just from Nexus 4. I recommend if you've already got Serum, try and use another synth style plugin for your instruments that's not Serum. For example, Nexus 4, Omnisphere, M1, Contact as well. They're called Rompler synths. And then we've layered it with another pad from Nexus. And then we found this really cool main pluck on Nexus with all these plugins on, as you can see. So we've got this reverb slowly filtering in, an EQ, a sound godizer, delay slowly coming in, distortion, and then this filter bringing all the levels gradually in. And then it goes into the breakdown and the pluck stops when the breakdown happens. So you can see this pattern I've just made. It's kind of like an ARP, but not. I just did a lot of trial and error until I came up with this melody and I felt like this one worked the best. We've also got this little sound sample in here. 
just because I thought it was getting a little repetitive after eight bars, so I needed to add something else in there. And then we bring in another pad here on the breakdown. And then all of the instruments here are just following each other. So let me play it for you. And then it turns into that riser there. So what effects do I have? Now, this is gonna be a bit crazy, but I've got this clock ticking here that's really offbeat, so it gives a weird vibe to the track. I've got vinyl cracking noise, and then I've got lots of risers, down filters, and impacts, and then eerie sounds that I found on Splice, as you can see here. More weird sounds. And risers here. So feel free to just analyze this screen right here and then hopefully you can replicate something that sounds as thick and as in-depth as that. That's the kind of level you need to go with your effects sometimes to give the overall quality of the track sounding great. Now the vocals are really simple. I just went on Splice and used the Splice Bridge to go through loads of samples until I found this really cool one that fit well with the track. And it's just pitch adjusted 400 semitones, as you can see there, and then put in sync with my track. So it was originally 126 and I've boosted it up to 174. And then I've also got another riser in here that's like a vocal riser. But it was only eight bars long, so I did some changing up of it. Let me just play it on its own so you can hear what I've done. It kind of fills in the gaps and doesn't make it repetitive, just duplicating this twice. And then finally we've got these drums here, so it's really simple. It's just a kick drum hitting every time one of those crazy down filters and impact hits. And then we bring in the drums eight bars before. And then you'll see this EQ on the kick group going crazy. And this is just making the kick sound a bit different as the build-up comes in. And then we've got a little snare pattern just before the drop which is just two snares put next to each other, but the first one is slightly louder than the second one to give it that crazy sound. And then right before the drop, I normally put a snare in, but I decided to put the alarm clock ending bell thing, whatever you call it. Because I thought that sounded quite cool and unique and not just a generic snare. So you gotta be creative as well. And then we've just got some more effects in the drop. So we've got this weird robot sound to give like a transition I'll play for you. And then the kick drum also comes out here and you can see there's a little gap. So that is the track complete. Let's play it all the way through. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. This video was a lot of fun to make and it took a very long time and myself and Azzy will be releasing this track 
very soon so keep an eye out for it the best way to know when my music is coming out is just to follow me on spotify and then get it through your release radar if there's any other videos you'd like me to cover leave me a comment below and i'll most likely make a video on it at some point in the future thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next one